Hi everyone. Next topic is marketing mix second P that is pricing element. As discussed earlier, marketing is exchanges of goods or services for a value. The value is the money paid to purchase a product. This money represents the sum of values that consumers exchange for the benefit of having or using the product or services and is referred to as price of the product. Price may be design, defined as the amount of money paid by buyer to the seller in consideration of the purchase of product or service. Channels of uh, companies need to be very careful while fixing the pricing for their products or services due to the following reasons. No product or service can be launched without a price tag. Price regulate the demands of a product, increase the price leads to decrease in demand and vice versa. Price is used an effective competitive weapon. Price affects the revenues and profits of the firm. Factors affecting price determination. So as discussed above, fixation of price is an important exercise for every firm. These are numerous factors which affect the fixation of price. These factors may be stated as follows. Product cost. The most important factor which affect pricing is the product cost. The cost sets the minimum price at which the products may be sold. This minimum price is called as floor price. At times when a firm introduces a new product it may launch the product at a price less than its cost but in the long run every firm aims to earn certain margin of profit. The total product cost consists of fixed cost, variable cost and semi variable cost. Fixed cost is the cost which does not change with the changes of production volume. It remains constant whether 1000 units or 10 units or 0 units are produced. Examples of fixed cost are rent, salaries, etc. Variable cost. Next, uh, variable cost is the cost which changes with the changes in the production level. It is uh, directly uh, proportional to the level of production. Therefore, variable cost will be incurred only if um, there is production. If there is no production, there will not be any variable cost. Examples of variable cost are raw material, petrol expense, labor cost, etc. Semi-variable cost. Semi-variable cost on the other hand, which is the cost which varies with the level of production activity, but uh, it is not directly uh, proportional to the production activity. Examples of semi-variable cost. Uh, cost are telephone expenses, salesman incentives, etc. The unity, utility and demand. The maximum price a buyer is willing to pay is the value of the utility of the product and the minimum price a seller is willing to offer is the cost of the product. Therefore, the price must reflect the interest of both buyer and the seller and should be fixed on the basis of the utility of the product and is the intensity of demand. Further, price of a product is affected by the elasticity of demand of the product. In case of elasticity of demand, a firm cannot fix a high prices but in case of inelastic demand, it has the option of fixing high prices. Next, extension, extent of competition in the market. The product cost determine the minimum price of a product and utility of the product determines the maximum price of the product but it is actually the nature and degree of competition which fixes the prices of the product. In case of a lesser degree of competition, the market price of the product will be closer to the maximum price and in case of free market, the market price would be closer to minimum level. Therefore, while fixing price of the product, the firm must consider competitors' prices and their anticipated reactions. Government and Legal Regulations Government may uh, intervene or regulate prices by declaring 
a product as essential product to protect the interest of the society at large. Therefore, a firm has to fix price of its product within the rules and regulations stated by the government.